Uh, for me, it's a great honor today uh, to represent Kazakhstan, especially Astana International Financial Center uh, on the stage, country stage of Kazakhstan. Um, so as you probably know that Kazakhstan is the ninth largest country in the world and it's a quite rapidly developing country among the Central Asia countries. Uh, it's located in the center of uh, Eurasia, so uh, it gives an opportunity. It has an, uh, actually a population of uh, 18 million population of peop people. Uh, it gives an opportunity for CIS countries uh, with the 200 million potential market and also uh, Belt and Road Initiative with the 1.5 billion potential market in China. Uh, so, um, the, the main, mainly the majority of financial institutions and also uh, technology companies, innovation companies, they are all located in our new uh, capital, it's a, in a capital city, uh, newly renamed as a Nur Sultan. So uh, today I am here to tell you more about uh, Astana International Financial Center, which is the first and the, the only for today financial center in our region. And I have a small three minutes video about AFC, please uh, watch it. Okay, if there is no sound, so maybe I will continue. I will tell you just uh, maybe overall in general, what is the financial center is. We actually position ourselves as a financial hub for Central Asia. Uh, so uh, we have, um, okay, maybe slides would be better for you for now. So we position ourselves as a financial hub for Central Asia, Eurasian Economic Union and Caucasus, West China, Mongolia and Eastern Europe. Um, uh, for currently we have uh, more than 100, like 130 uh, residents of AIFC, uh, companies registered with us. Uh, so we have uh, five main key pillars of development of Astana International Financial Center. So it's a capital markets, asset management, private banking and Islamic finance, green finance and financial technologies. Our offices is located in a uh, building of Expo 2017, if you remember, if you visited uh, Kazakhstan at that time of Expo. So we are uh, currently located on these buildings. Uh, so um, today I want to tell you more about financial technologies part. So what we have for now, what we can o offer to you. Uh, so everything uh, in, um, in our company, in Astana International Financial Center is uh, in English. So all documents, all communications are in English. And also your business is uh, protected by English common law. So if you are registered with us, so you can be safe. This is good for you, for your investors and for all companies. Um, so it's a, you can see it's transparent, clear, and understandable. Second one is the registration regime. So uh, you don't need to uh, come to Kazakhstan many times, so only one stop shop. So you can also register with us. Uh, uh, we have a digital platform for this. You can apply online. It takes up to 30 days, and the registration cost is uh, $100 for registration and $100 for licensing each year. Uh, so we have a tax incentives. So uh, it's a zero tax for corporate income tax and uh, personal income tax for 50 years. Uh, we have also a simplified visa regime for all uh, people coming to work with us. So it's up to five years. In five days, you can get your visa. We, can al we also have our own expat center, which supports you with the visa regime, uh, with the visa and all other documents. Uh, here I want to tell you about our fintech lab. It's a sandbox we have, so you can test your innovations. Uh, it's a tailored regulatory environment where you can test your innovations, your products, and go into the market. Uh, currently we have um, around nine companies, fintech companies with in our sandbox, uh, waiting for, uh, they're ready actually to go to the market. Uh, later, my colleague Ramazan will tell you more about uh, Sandbox. 
Um, I want to tell you about FinTech Hub. So it's one of the, as it was mentioned before, one of the key pillars is the FinTech direction. So we have a hub. It's located on two uh, uh, floors of our office. Um, actually, the uh, main, uh, our key function of the hub is to support and to develop the um, ecosystem of uh, financial technologies uh, to support the key players of the fintech ecosystem. We help our startups, we help our uh, companies and banks to go uh, into the international market, not only uh, uh, to the Central Asia, but international market. Uh, in order to do this, we uh, execute different programs, different projects. Some of them we do in-house, some of them we do with our uh, clients, uh, our partners. Uh, so we also take care about our talent pool. We work with the universities very close. Uh, so it's our students, it's our future. So we also work with the banks, uh, with tech companies, uh, with startups, we have currently we have registered around uh, 20 startups, uh, fintech startups with us, uh, and eight startups they are in process of registration. Uh, we have identified for ourselves like these main areas of our development in a fintech uh, area. So first of all, we offer co-working spaces. It's up to 100 uh, working places. Uh, we do have uh, R&D innovation laboratories um, with our partners like Microsoft, like Bitfury, uh, with different universities. Um, we run the incubators and accelerator programs. Uh, one of the recent uh, agreements was uh, with a visa company, so we've launched the Visa Everywhere Initiative program to support the startups. Uh, so we also have international partners, investor side. We do the, uh, we participate in different international fintech events as current event. We bring uh, startups and financial institutions from Kazakhstan, but not only from Kazakhstan, but uh, from Central Asia to show them, to showcase uh, on the international market. We do have a mentorship programs and support and we also have a startup exchange program, so uh, we can exchange with the startups uh, and collaborate. Uh, these are a uh, little bit just the statistics, some figures of our achievements by today. So we actually have not 15 or 17 fintech companies, and eight of them are in process. Uh, last year, we ran the acceleration program together with SeedStars, and uh, 10 fintech startups were actually participated and they've gained some seed investments. Uh, we uh, regularly run different seminars and workshops uh, and one-to-one -one sessions with mentorships. Uh, we work with a partner a partnership uh, with uh, international hubs like Cyberport, like in Dubai, in Coop Hub here. Also, we are looking forward to sign the MOU with the Coop Hub. Uh, one of the, our key events last year it was we showcased it uh, in Singapore FinTech Festival our seven leading startups from Kazakhstan. So it was a really good success. And we still, today we met a lot of people we met from Singapore as well, they remember us. So I hope tomorrow you will remember us as well. Uh, so um, this is just a small map of our partners who we work with. And as it was mentioned before, so we've uh, partnered with uh, Visa, and currently this is the program which is being executed currently uh, to support the startups, Visa Everywhere Initiative, and if you are a startup or if you're interested, you can apply and to join our program. This program is not only for the uh, projects which is uh, like a, in a prototype level, but also for grown companies as well. Um, if you have any other questions, we're here. Just come around and we'll help you. And now I want to pass the word to my colleague Ramazan. He will tell you more about uh, Sandbox. Hi, everyone. My name is Ramazan. I'm a representative of the regulator of the regulator of the financial activity today in Turkey. And uh, in the morning, we had a lot of conversations with uh, fintech startups. And See, there is an interest from, uh, from startups uh, on our regulatory sandbox, and this 
study that we can make a separate presentation and try to sample. And uh, so let me start with the uh, aim of the uh, financial regulator of the AACP. Uh, the primary aim of the financial regulator is to protect consumers and uh, <coughs> investors from the market. And providing financial activity may trigger a need for authorization or, uh, and obtaining a license from the regulator as is done in uh, most of the jurisdictions. And uh, on the one hand, we have uh, innovation and a great idea, but, uh, which is in the uh, kind of initial stage of development, but uh, on the other hand, we have a heavy, strong requirement that are in the regulations. And uh, uh, in the view of promotion of uh, innovation in the market, AEP and ASSA launched this regulatory handbook. Basically, it is a setting environment where a regulator sets individual requirements for each firm uh, to satisfy and uh, obtain a fast track license. So, basically, the aim of the handbook is to make a safe place where a firm, especially startup, uh, can offer services to wider market in a kind of safe and efficient manner. And uh, there are kind of three types of firms that are eligible to test this innovation in the sandbox. Uh, so the, the first type is uh, already licensed uh, firms in foreign jurisdictions which have a license, but, uh, that's all, but that firm that wants to test the demand test the workers, uh, test the regional market with the minimum credit and the minimum resources in the ACP. So it is possible to apply to the SSA and obtain a fast track license. And uh, the second type of firm that I want to in the sandbox is uh, startup firms that cannot comply with the whole set of requirements and the regulations that are set in the ACP Act. And, uh, together with the firms collaborate and uh, set individual requirements uh, tailored for the specific <coughs> firm. And the third type of firm that are uh, eligible for the sandbox is uh, uh, firms that provide innovation but not the related financial activity. They are both possible to provide not related activity uh, by the FSA under the regulatory certainty of being authorized uh, security that this one applies to the integrity of the network uh, in the cloud. We can ask questions. And uh, I have a few cards with me. Thank you. If you have any questions. 